TRX suspension training builds superior muscular balance, joint stability, mobility, and core strength. TRX delivers innovative training solutions that are currently used by top trainers. And today, our friend, personal trainer Karin Von Olst, demonstrates how you can use it at home. Today, we're going to talk about the TRX. It's a great piece of equipment that you can use at home. All you need is a good, solid surface beam or a very heavy big tree or a hook that you can hook on the door or onto the ceiling. Today what I'm going to show you is strictly abs on the TRX. Anytime you use the TRX you're going to use your core but today I'm going to show on top of that some things that will give you a ripping six-pack. That is if you stick to your diet plans. So the most easiest, <laughs> my new Denglish word, is this one. Go forward, making sure you're really engaging your core, sucking in your belly towards your spine as if you're creating like a ball in your belly. So, like that. Of course, you can tell you I'm also using some of my shoulders, but they're just helping out. So that's the easier way to start this. To make it a little bit harder, is you're gonna use your whole entire body weight. And from there, you're gonna go forward and back. Making sure you're breathing, and watching your shoulders. Don't start with this one. This one is when you're a little bit more advanced. And then to make it even harder, you can add movement to it. So flipping it backwards and flipping it forwards. Now when you're first starting out, I would recommend you don't do any more than say 10 of each of those. But once you become more of an expert, you can at least do 15 to 20 of each and all of these. The second part, I'm gonna move forward a little bit. My feet go in the baskets. So right here, of course, I'm already engaging my abs, but I'm gonna make it a little bit more interesting by doing a spike. I call this actually a stink buck. Living in New Mexico, this is a very appropriate name. So right there, making sure you're making this come from your abs. And then another great way to work the obliques is by bringing both sides to one side, hold it. Bring it back to the center. Other side, hold it. Back to the center. So you do about 20 of those. And then the other thing you can do here is by doing one at a time. One, two, three. Really working those raised muscles, so to say. Whew. To make this a little bit harder, you can come on your hands and do the same story. Think bug. Side to side. Whew. It's probably my favorite. This one here. Works all those little areas that are really hard to get to. And then singles. Singles. Really working that waist. Again, when you're starting out doing this, make sure your shoulders are strong enough. You're low to the ground and you can of course bail out at any time, but be careful and enjoy it. So this is just for the six pack. Karin just blows my mind with her strength. For more fitness tips from Karin, you can visit casa.com. She is amazing.